In this video, we will talk about data manipulation and how you can use R and in particular the packet dplyr to do most of your data manipulation. So a first question you may ask is, is it essential to know how to manipulate data? And the answer is, is yes, because your, your data will basically never be exactly as you need it to be for what you want to do. For example, when I receive raw data, I, I usually want to look at it quickly to um, uh, look at specific columns. So I will select some columns from the data. Then I want probably to uh, uh, filter out the, the rows where I know the data collection was not going well. Uh, usually the information I want is, is not directly there. I need it's a combination of different columns. So I need to calculate the column I, I want first. Then I, I usually want to look at this column, um, the values uh, of this column. So um, reorder the, the rows to have the highest values on the top, for example. But this gives me only an idea of the extreme values. And I usually want also to have a, an idea of the average or the summaries. Um, and this usually I want to do it by group. So, and this is just an example. Basically, that I mean, manipulation is is just an essential skill um, for anyone who wants to work with data. So, how can we uh, manipulate data? Well, you can do actually any type of data manipulation with R without any additional package. I used to do that, um, but uh, it was a bit cumbersome and. Um, when you do that, the code quickly becomes quite hard to maintain. Uh, nowadays, there is a very popular package uh, called dplyr that solves this issue. And we use it all the time in our work. And we think that the best for new people um, in, in R is to learn to use this package right from the start. Now, I hope that you're not convinced yet that um, dplyr is the package that you should be learning right now to use uh, for your data manipulation. Uh, because there are so many R packages out there, and there are new packages coming um, every day. Um, so you should be very picky with your choice of packages. But dplyr is not a random package. And we have very good reason to think that's the best um, package for data manipulation, and especially for newcomers. Uh, the first reason is that uh, the syntax is very intuitive and consistent. We will see that um, just uh, in a moment. The second reason is that like ggplot, dplyr is part of tidyverse, which was discussed a bit uh, in the previous video. And so tidyverse is a very curated and very popular collection of packages. You don't go wrong with that. Uh, the third reason is simply because dplyr has become one of those key R packages that are changing the, the way people work with data. If you look at the packages that are used the most by other packages, you see that dplyr is ranked fifth out of um, more than 15,000 packages. That means that um, even the, the other potential package that you may consider um, using for data manipulation, well, lots of them would be actually based on dplyr, on the function of dplyr. Uh, by the way, if you look at the, the fourth one uh, in the list, it's, it's ggplot. And I have one last very good argument, uh, but I will leave it for the next video because I think we need to uh, know more about dplyr first. So let's talk about the name quickly first. Uh, why, why is it called dplyr? Well, the D stands for data frame, uh, which is a class of objects uh, used to store data in R. And the function in dplyr work on data frames. Uh, for plyr, it was, it was uh, actually chosen to evoke pliers because the function in dplyr act, act a bit like pliers for data frames. Uh, for the pronunciation, by the way, I, I say dplyr, but um, the, the people who made uh, the, the package said explicitly that you can pronounce it the way you want. So if you want to be creative, 
you can. So how does dplyr works? Well, like ggplot, dplyr has a specific grammar. This grammar is built uh, around its six main functions, which are select, filter, arrange, mutate, summarize, and one function that's a bit different, group by. So if you pay attention to the names of this function, you may see that they are verbs. And they are verbs that could well describe some kind of manipulation that we could do on the data. And that's why I said uh, dplyr has an intuitive syntax, because each function does what the name says it does. Let's look at the function select, for example. The role of select is to uh, pick columns based on the names. So you see at the top of my screen, I have a data frame called small data. Uh, it has four columns, uh, name, gender, age, and country. So if I type the command select small data, comma, name, comma, age, what I'm asking R is to select from the data frame small data, the columns name and age. And sure enough, if I run this command, this is what I get. Now, if I wanted to, to pick the rows instead of the columns, I would use the function filter. And filter works in the same way, except that um, our rows don't have names. So I need to change a little bit the right part of the command. And intuitively, how we would like to, to filter the rows is by using um, the values of some columns. Like, for example, I would like to keep only the rows where the individual has have an age greater than 25. And what we need to write is simply this command. Filter small data, age greater than 25. Now let's uh, quickly look uh, at one example of each of the remaining command. Uh, arrange is used to order the rows by some column. And if we just type arrange small data, comma, age, we arrange the, the rows by the age. Um, what about mutate? Mutate is used to um, modify or add a column. For example, uh, in my data, I would like to uh, add a column uh, where we, I get the age um, of the individual next year. So age plus one. So if I type mutate small data age plus one and I run the command, uh, this is what I obtain. I, uh, I get the age of the individual next year. Not a very useful uh, column, but for this example, it works. And you see that it's quite intuitive. And so I'm sure you can guess what summarize uh, does. Um, it's, it's used to, uh, to calculate some summary on the data. Now we need to explain, to tell R what kind of summary we want. And what I'd like is to uh, calculate the average age of uh, all my individual. Um, and if you remember, the command to calculate an average is mean. So if I just type summarize small data mean of age, this is what I get. Um, I asked R to summarize the data phrase small data by calculating the average of age. Now, uh, there's one function left, which is group by, but we'll talk about it in the next video.